Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we are playing Interstellar Rift. So, as you remember from the last episode, I was in a tier 1 system in <coughs> Alpha Ventura, and in this um, system, I performed some missions to get some Dysanthium, but unfortunately, this, this system is. Um, not de developed so there are few stations and um, I'm stuck here now because I cannot return to the tier 0 system I'm running out of ammo because there's nothing here there's no refinery there's no um, assembly station nothing so my only hope is the um, galactic trade galactic uh, this uh, galactic trade emporium so this is a, a ship that travels all around the galaxy uh, um trading and my hope is that i can find some iron there because of course this system is um, filled with uh, construction stations but they require iron and they require copper and steel to build uh, the stations for example to make a refinery station so i can uh, refine further elements and build other stations in the hope that i can build something that um, at the end will get me out of this system the thing is that I have a lot of scrap metal, but I need to refine it if I want uh, iron ore, iron ingots, I mean. But nothing, there's nothing. There's only a black market and the Voltron station. The black market only contains scrap, scrap metal. And I um, don't have a refinery in my ship, so the only hope is this traveling trade emporium and this ship maybe i can buy iron from him and i can buy um, some steel as well because steel is needed and hopefully i can build uh, a refinery station I need at least 20,000 iron and I think 1200 um, steel or so. So let's uh, uh, let's see, finger cross, if this is going to to work out or not. Let's see if um, they have enough iron. Well, the traveling emporium um, came just after I delivered some santium to um, a, st a station construction satellite from Galactic Trade. So maybe that triggered the that triggered the, this uh, Galactic Trade to come to the system because this. Um, these contrib contributions increase the, the influence over the, uh, of the factions over the system and this could somehow be related to to the galactic trade emporium to have um, appeared the traveling trade emporium so let's see I'm in a really desperate um, situation. Um, if this doesn't work, then I would have to respawn somewhere else. This is always an option to respawn. Yeah, but in general, you have to to be careful 
when traveling to other systems that you can come back again so this is like a, a new mistake that I, I forgot this uh, detail okay so I don't have anything yes let's go to the to the galactic trade and see if they have iron and if they have it in a they have enough so here we are at the Emporium and yes they have enough Ooh. okay I think we are saved so how much I can have I can carry um, by uh, 600 six uh, I think I can have 6,000 at a time let's see 6,000 I think this will fill my inventory yes so I have I need to make like um, several trips I need to make several trips no worries. Go to the cargo. I will put it here because then I can perform the mission. So six thousand and then another six thousand that will be twelve. You yeah, have to perform about four trips. Wow, but this this is uh, this was like my only hope to to have the the emporium. I was like really uh, thinking that I would have to respawn somewhere else. But this is um, this is the solution right here. Teleport. So now I I gather this iron. I can uh, travel to. Uh, I can build a, a refinery station. Once the refinery station is built then i can refine because i have a lot of scrap i can refine further and um, make another station and so on So this is, um, yeah, and but still it's not clear that I will be out, that I will be free to, to go to another system because I'm, I'm just, um, oh, this is bad news. I need to support the station here. They are it's under attack. Oh no.
I won't let them destroy it. How many of these things are? And well, this is one thing that um, I'm low on ammo. So this is really bad news. How many are there? Well, at least uh, the station is defending itself. Okay, that one is dead. Oh, great. So they... Basically, they took care of him. Okay, so let's... Um, continue. Because... How many do I have now? I think this um, this is um, almost everything I need. I will buy six thousand more. Also, I need I need steel. I need steel. Some steel from the well, let's buy twenty four hundred steel and let's buy the rest of the iron. How much do I need? Also, they have um, fuel, we should also buy fuel. So I would need like um, three thousand six hundred. Yeah, that is everything I can carry. Um, I think I can have like twenty thousand fuel just in case and also I should I should buy um, ammo it's incredible this system doesn't have anything anything so I can I have to to restock okay so yeah I think that's enough for now the rest I will put it here. Let's put yeah because there's no more ah here. Can put, place this here. So let's buy fuel. Let's buy twenty thousand fuel. This is um, <clears throat> what I can carry currently, and um, maybe I can buy some improved ammo just in case. But this traveling emporium is. Uh, my lifesaver so that's it we have full we have the tank full by the way, for those of you um, who didn't watch the last episode, I'm in um, 
some sort of YT-2000 replica, a Star Wars um, ship. As I said, this is um, <clears throat> like some, based on some previous concept of the Millennium Falcon. And well, I, I was, in the last episode, I was saying that this is a very good ship. It has some very interesting. Yeah, so there's some improved. Wow, this will take. It's very expensive. And this one. Oh, they're very expensive. I think I will buy the regular one. This what? Already? Uh. Yeah, and the, and the... Ah, I will buy the, this improved. It's better. So, and improved... We have a lot of money. This is one thing. We have a lot of money. I think that's it. Oh, this is Mercury. Mercury. Yes, I want to buy that. Mercury is used uh, to... To create this sound film, also silver. Silver is used to to craft um, automatic automation cartridges. So I think we're done for now. I think we're done for now. Okay, we should, well, I don't know, maybe I should buy um, copper as well. I think I will buy some copper as well, just in case, because I have some copper, but also I don't want to, I don't want like to run out of copper. So this is empty. Not anymore. This I will just... There we go. So... Ah, this is full now. Okay. This is full. Let's place all these things here. Let's buy some copper. <clears throat> it's always good to have copper. And since money is not a problem right now. I mean, in Interstellar Rift, um, yeah, money is not a problem. You can always earn money with missions. Um, also, if, if you don't have uh, missions or anything, you can always take a loan. So money is not a problem. So what did we say? Uh, yes, copper. We'll buy... Um, how much did we say? Um, six thousand. Yeah, six thousand. Give me all that copper. All the copper I can carry. Okay, so we are done. Um, next, we're going to build a station.
that's it. We're building a station, a refinery station. So let's see. Yes, one of the advantages of the um, of the YT two thousand is uh, cargo. I have these two cargo containers. They can take uh, one hundred crate each. Plus, I have all these uh, cargo pads back here and it has a cargo teleporter the millennium falcon replica i did here in the in interstellar reef doesn't have um, that doesn't have the cargo teleporter so the cargo teleporter is a must if you want to build stations so let's see what let me um, have a look which is convenient here we have the refinery station from HSC I think I will build that one the refinery station because why because then uh, we can have other hurl services like um, assembly stuff um, but also kill 26 krills okay there's a mission here okay what else um, there's the um, GT or and metal market that is not a bad thing and the Voltron logic corp logical printing station I think this is not we don't need that one hydropex okay and the other thing we need is like like the um, the um, the rift hub to make sure we can uh, go out of the of this system and um, currently what's i think that's with i don't know if it's galactic trade i don't know who who's the one who can build that um is it Voltron? No, I don't know. I'm not sure. Or Hydro Hydro Ha uh, Hydropex. I think Hydropex has one. Okay, but first the 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 let's let's build this. Um, refinery station so that was great yeah the other thing uh, the other important thing would be to have um, assembly or even if if any any station would have a ship editor That would be good because then we can just um, build ourselves uh, uh, a ship that is that can create rifts.
Okay, so that's it. So here you you have the the YT two thousand ship. Um, I like the ship. Um, of course, it's uh, very hard to make replicas in Stel Interstellar Rift. The the interior, I think, doesn't resemble the, the, the blueprints from this ship. Um, I just um, arranged the interior as I saw fit, more or less following uh, mil the Millennium Falcon layout, but not very much. Okay, so let's uh, build the station. Twenty five thousand. Uh, do we have twenty five thousand uh, though? Every every one of these uh, has forty eight hundred. Uh, forty eight times four. That's twenty. No, oh, yes, I think we have enough. Hopefully. This is enough. If not, we have to return to the uh, Galactic Trade Emporium if it's uh, still there. Six thousand. Hmm. I think it won't be enough. How much do I have here? Oh, it's not enough. Okay, we have to go back. I think I was thinking about another station, but we should go back immediately. So, 3800 still needed. Let's go back. Yeah, I made a calculation of 20,000, uh, 20, so it requires 25. And we were short by almost 4,000. I will just buy six thousand more. Or we can buy more than that, right? If 
we want to make another station let's buy enough to create another station I think we should perform a scouting mission for the Hydropex, perhaps, to make sure that um, well, if, if we perform this scouting mission, I think uh, then. Uh, an event will pop up like to to build a station a new station okay so that's it Six thousand. I think we will um, buy all the iron. Probably. Let's see. Yeah, currently there's um, thirty two thousand. Okay, and yes. Probably I will buy it all.
Ooh. Okay, that's everything. I bought all the... I bought all the iron. And now the base is under attack. These creatures, they don't give up. Oh, my shields are being depleted. So I need to... Wow, but there are a lot. I need to hurry up. Because my... But I need to get away from the from from the station. Because there's always the the risk that if I hit the station or anyone um, protecting it like the drones, they will start attacking me. It's always a problem. Always a problem when when you are surrounded by all these drones. And the base itself is so close. Okay, but now I bought all the, the iron. And I bought some more copper. Yeah, so I think this will be enough. I think I will buy more steel just in case. And probably uh, my ship got damaged. I didn't have to look at the hole. At some point the shields were down. Uh, okay, so I will buy some steel. And <coughs> some more fuel. Just in case. How much fuel I can buy? Um, twelve thousand. You can buy twelve thousand. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Let's finish building the station. Okay.
And look, there's a new event. Station construction salary. Build a Hydropex rip station. Oh, that's good. So I think that would be the next one I will build. The rip station, so I can go back. And the good thing is, if I go back, then I can bring the other ship. And another, the other ship is like, um, It's a mobile factory, so... I wouldn't need... Um, I just need this one. I just need the rip station, I think. But since I start building the refinery... Station, I can finish it. Yeah, my, my ship got damaged. I can see the nanobots working. So let's see. The hole, well, the hole is intact. What got damaged? Oops. What got damaged is the the armor currently is being built. But I think nothing. Hopefully, nothing else is damaged. Okay, so let's finish. Yeah, let's finish this. Uh, how much steel does it need? I have steel here. Only 1200. This one is uh, 3,000, 4,000. So that's all the iron. And now we need to... We need the copper. Where is the copper? Here. Yes. Some copper. How much copper? Five thousand. Well, I will need to place all these things so there we go that's everything that's everything now the the station can be built 
<clears throat> okay, so we can refine all these things in this station. Let me see how much is required by Hydropex. Oh, not that much. I can just build it. Let's just go and build it. Yeah, we have more than enough. Ah, there's a battery that is damaged. A battery is damaged. Which one is it? That one. There we go. It's fixed. There's nothing else damaged. So let's go and build the rift station. this one and it's very close so this is convenient it's very convenient So let's see. Hydropex. Twenty four hundred. Okay, one thousand more. And Eight thousand four hundred more and some steel. Where's the steel here? Right? Some steel. How much steel, though? Uh, Five hundred, huh? Not that much. Ah, but still four hundred. I forgot. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. That's everything. Done. So the Rift Hub Station have been built. There you have it, guys. So that's it. We have built our way back to the other systems, to the starting systems. So now we are not stuck anymore. So this uh, episode was uh, thrilling, right? So we started uh, stuck here in this system. There were only two stations, the Black Market and Voltron. So I could only get missions from the Drifters uh, in the Black Market. Um, and the Black Market had only um, scrap material. So I couldn't build any other stations. So what I did was I um, completed some events um, for Galactic Trade. I, I think there was a scouting mission, uh, a scouting event, and I think, and also I delivered some Santium to the to the construction satellite. I had some Santium, and I think this triggered uh, the Galactic Trade Emporium to come. And I could buy from them iron and the other materials that I needed to build the other stations. And here we are, we built ourselves the, a rift hub so we can return to uh, the other systems. And what I will do, this would be in the next episode, is that I will bring a mobile factory to this system. And yeah. I think we will um, we will be uh, soon be ready to jump to a tier two. This is tier one system. Soon um, we'll be able to jump to a tier two system then. Okay, guys. So that's everything for this episode. I hope do you enjoyed the video. Uh, so see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler signing off.